It wasn't long ago when we first heard the term Omicron before the biggest COVID wave hit with record case numbers. And as it turns out, it comes in different forms. And now what's called BA2 is the one the medical community is watching with the possibility it emerges as the dominant strain of the virus. The worrying part of it is that it is increasing in prevalence in a background where other cases are decreasing. And that means it has a selective advantage of some kind. As the COVID pandemic carries on, every step presents a new challenge. The latest is BA2, an Omicron subvariant that has started to gain traction in a number of countries, including Canada. And signs point to it possibly being more transmissible to BA1, what we had simply referred to as Omicron. They're actually quite different from each other. Um, BA2 has about 28 uh, different mutations that are not present in BA1. And BA1 also has a series of mutations that are not present in BA2. Denmark is reporting a surge of BA2. The UK has said it is monitoring the subvariant closely. This week, the World Health Organization suggested that BA2 research should be prioritized over other Omicron subvariants based on what is being detected so far. The Public Health Agency of Canada determined that as of January 2nd, among the COVID variants of concern, the vast majority of cases in the country were Omicron BA1, but BA2 made up 1% at that point. Now, the agency says more information is needed to determine if BA2 becomes a variant of concern on its own. 51 detections of the BA2 variant are being reported in Canada, but that number is already out of date due to delays from the provinces. BC's health ministry had detected 66 cases of BA2 up to January 21st, with half of those related to international travel. Ontario, meanwhile, hasn't yet broken down Omicron into sublineages in its provincial reporting, but plans to do so with numbers for BA2 this coming Friday. It is growing. There's no reason why Canada is going to be different than the UK and Germany and the Denmark and other places. It does have a selective advantage, which is concerning. In a statement to City News, Canada's public health agency said, quote, its scientists, along with national and international experts, are actively monitoring and evaluating this variant and the associated studies for signs that it changes disease severity, spread, or impacts the effectiveness of diagnostic tests, vaccines, or treatments for COVID-19. Should we be concerned about a subvariant of a variant that we were already concerned about? Well, I think it's important for us to, you know, to follow the emergence of variants and study them and, and be prepared for them. This is what our future looks like. There are a lot of uh, uh, variants that uh, will likely appear over time, uh, many of which won't be very important, and some of which will. Now, it is important to point out that it's still very early in the research, but that does include looking to see if the current COVID vaccines will remain effective against BA2. At this point, researchers in Denmark say the shots being administered now are expected to continue to offer protection against severe illness.